Feature alert, email templates are now in Clio Manage. Now, I don't know um, why there's not a lot more fanfare around this, but this is one of my favorite things I'm super excited about, this idea that we can now use email templates within Clio Manage. Now, for those of you that have been using Clio Grow, Clio Grow has had email templates since its inception. And so um, that's a really nice feature that you can use in that software. And then of course you bring that matter over from Grow into Manage, and now we lose the ability to use those email templates within the program. So up until now you've had to use email templates within your email account or somewhere else or copy and paste from Word document or something like that. And of course that can be very frustrating because it's not in the same environment, but also because um, you know it's not the same template necessarily depending on how you're sharing templates. Not all email account systems will allow you to share templates like that. So I'm very excited to announce that Clio Manage now has the ability to use and share email templates. So I'm gonna jump over to the Clio screen so I can show you exactly how to do this. Now, keep in mind, um, we've done prior videos on how to set up your Clio account so that you can send emails directly out of Clio. And we've also set up um, prior videos where we have set up your email signature as well. So if you haven't done those two things, hop back over to YouTube or wherever you're watching your videos and find those two videos first so you can set that up. And then you'll be ready to um, move forward with those email templates. So if we hop on over to our Clio screen here, we can see the matter that we're working in on Clio, in Clio, I should say. And if I click over into settings on the left-hand side here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and find the settings that deal with communications, which are usually on the middle column um, at the bottom. And when I do that and click on communications, you can see where I put my signature in here but I can also go over to email templates right here. And this is where it lists all the templates I have access to. Now, some of them I may have created myself. Those are listed as personal. And then others, somebody else in my firm created, but I have access to them. And so in this case, this one was created by Melanie. And so I have access to it on my account. It's accessible to the, everybody on the account actually. And then I've also got one here that Daniel, myself, I did go ahead and create in my personal account here. And I only I have access to that. But to create a new template, template, it's very easy. We click on add a template. We put in the name of the template. We put in the subject line that we want. Um, oh, I've got this one already. Let's try a new one. How about um, following up? And here is where I'm gonna start typing the body um, or the text of my email. And you'll see that I have access to these auto fields, it's called, um, I should say auto fill fields. Um, and what happens is I can use first name, last name, prefix, whatever I want. I can use this information in my um, template. So for example, if I want to reference the responsible attorney in here, but of course the responsible attorney is going to be different on each matter, I can use that fill field here and I can say, dear, I'm going to go ahead and use first name, dear first name, um, thanks for um, making the time to speak with, and I'm going to put in the responsible attorney right here. Okay. Um, your feedback is very valuable and so on and so forth. So now I've got my email template and I can even add an attachment here, right? If there's an attachment that I want to send out every time this email goes out, I can do that. I'm going to go ahead and save this template and you'll see it pops up right here. Um, again, this was just on my personal account. Now, if I want to go edit this template again, um, if I scroll down, whoops, that's it. That's the bottom. Um, there will be, um, if you have certain permissions within the account, there will be the um, availability of another button at the bottom here, a little checkbox that you can check that makes this template available across the whole firm. Um, but again, you do have to have particular permissions in order to have that access. So if I click that box at the bottom of my template, when I have access to it, it will um, make that available to the entire firm and make that an account template as opposed to a personal template. So let's see how we use these. 
I'm going to go back to my matter over here, the Smith matter. I'm going to come over to communications because that's where I'm going to create my new email right here. And when I come over here, we've had the option of creating the email before, but now we've got this separate line here that says email template. And this is where I can select the template that I want to use. And so we'll go and use that test template that I've got. And I've put in the subject now fills in. It fills in the client's name, Dear Joe. And then, of course, thanks for taking time to speak with the responsible attorney who's Melanie Leonard. Your feedback's very valuable. And my signature comes in here as well, right? And so this email is ready to send out. I can go ahead and click send. And now this is going to go directly to Joe Smith. And it shows up in the communication log of my matter. Super, super easy, right? Now, I love this because now when we're working with our task lists or our workflows, now I can have email templates that I can reference in those task lists that the entire firm can use and take advantage of, right? And so definitely, definitely, when you are looking to create templates for email, keep Clio Manage in mind now that we have this really, really nice access. And that is how we can send a templated email through Clio Manage. So give it a try. Let me know. I'd love to hear how this works for you. I'd love to hear how you're using it. And I'd love to hear um, how your team has put this into action. Thanks for joining me tonight. Have a great evening.